Just a little bit ago, I had a conversation with my sister and realized that we view the world completely different. She fixates her gaze on one individual thing, while I fix on a direction and see everything within range. So when she looks at a sunset, she doesn't see the trash three meters to our right or the broken bottles scattered by the lantern shimmering in the reflection of the remaining light. She literally can focus on that one thing only, while my mind runs races to every corner of the scenery. Neither is wrong or more beautiful. I think both views can be priceless if handled with care. For me, it's easy to never fully give undivided attention to anything, while for her, it's hard to focus on the beautiful things when she first looked at the dirty or ugly thing. Both of us need to learn to focus on the beauty, and yes, the approach might be from different angles, but the key is the same. Gratitude is an attitude, someone once said, and I think they got a point. How beautiful would it be if instead of seeing trash or brokenness, I would notice the flowers an old man just bought in a store, or the cute couple taking pictures by the shore? What if my sister would see the sun in all its beauty until an appearance of a shooting star? Imagine what a beautiful world would live in! The crazy thing is, we already live in exactly that world, but it's up to us whether we focus on the beautiful or rather point out its flaws. What is something beautiful around you? Maybe a freshly painted wall, a cute puppy, or your favorite childhood doll. What is something you can be thankful for? Maybe a catch-up call or the calm in the middle of a raging emotional storm. It's so important to focus on the bright side, whether that means you see 20 different colors or simply focus on the golden light. You were created to see the beauty between the lines. You are here to taste and see, not to frown and judge. Jealousy has been a terrible advisor and lack was never meant to be a close-kept friend. Let Jesus teach you what thankfulness looks like, especially when facing a hard or even dead-end sort of situation. He endured the cross because of the joy set before him. If that's not choosing thankfulness, I don't know what is. He endured excruciating pain because he knew that it would be followed by eternal gain. He died for you and me, and so thankfulness for being able to restore the relationship between God and man is what kept him on that cursed tree. I can only say thankfulness is an important lesson to learn, whether you're like my sister or more like me. I challenge you with a simple thing. Write down three things you are thankful for and then repeat again and again.